Now, at one time, it wasn't just brain drain, it was what we call brain hemorrhage. Because <laughs> everybody was leaving, okay? And there was even a time I was tempted to go to either the U.S. or to go to Saudi Arabia, okay? Because the offers there were just out of this world and one felt tempted. But I've always felt in my own mind that I was trained to be a doctor to help my own people. Okay? Now that's a very fundamental point that it's not just a material things in life that why do I want to now go and practice my skills in a foreign land and giving help and succor to foreign people when my own people are suffering. So that has always been my philosophy that I did not give much thought to live in Nigeria, okay? Although that had its own problems, because you would find that it's sometimes difficult to make ends meet, okay? But I've never been over dazzled by the prospects of wealth. Eh? Unfortunately, I have my a wife who has that same attitude to life, okay? But we are content with what we have. A uh, brain drain is something that will probably continue for quite some time because you'll find that even when people go out and people like me talk to them and say, well, come back after 10 years, 15 years, they will come back and then after about a year they get restless again because they would feel disappointed that things are not moving. Now, it takes a particular attitude to uh, really control yourself in terms of what you want in life. And if material is the major criteria, then it's difficult to persuade people to stay on. So there are so many inadequacies in our midst. Youth Engage, thank you for your likes, comments, and shares. For sponsorships or support, connect with us on our social media platforms. We remain committed to bringing you powerful stories that inspire and uplift.